Hi folks and welcome to the ninth video in this getting started series for the game B17 Flying Fortress The Mighty Eighth. Now in this video we're going to go through training mission number six which is gunnery and so we can go there by clicking on the new game panel on the top left and the continue switch in the lower right and then we click on choose a training mission here on the right and then the continue switch in the lower right. We'll scroll down the list of training missions and so here training mission number six gunnery. So as it says here, in this mission you must engage the target B-17. Special non-damaging training rounds have been provided for your guns and the target plane will come up alongside you in various positions and you should experiment with leading a target and the effects of range on bullet arcs. The exam can be taken in any order, but if you use the top turret, chin turret, cheek gun, full turret, left waist gun, right waist gun and tail gun in that order, you won't have too long to wait between positions. So that's it, let's get started. So we we'll click on the play selected mission switch in the lower right. Join formation. So the first thing I'm going to do is just get rid of the overlay in the top left by pressing control and tapping H on my keyboard. We really don't need that for this uh, training mission. And then I'm going to press M to go into manual mode. Now as it said in those uh, notes at the beginning, the first position we're going to uh, do our gunnery practice in is the top turret and it already has uh, started us off there. So if we move around we should see our dummy or target B17. And what you want to do is try and kind of lead, you know, it's moving so try and lead a little bit ahead of its movement. And that's it, I've, <laughs> I've run out of bullets already. Um, it really doesn't give you uh, much ammunition for each one of these stations um, and it's kind of like a ridiculous training exercise to be honest because the B-17 that you're targeting is such a large and slow moving object it really doesn't replicate the actual gunnery you will need to practice and need to employ when you're trying to shoot on any fighters in the actual missions itself. So anyway let's move on to the next position which is the chin turret so I'm going to press the back tick key, which is the uh, key to the left of the number one at the top of my keyboard, to go to the Bombardier or the Chin Turret uh, gun station. Again, I'm going to press M to go into manual mode. And now I have to wait for this target B-17 to move and come into view. Now, as I say, I, I find this training mission kind of ludicrous, really. Uh, it would have been much better if they had uh, had fighters that you could shoot at. Or even if they had the B-17 that you're targeting here moving much more quickly in your sights and that it kept moving around. Um, but it really doesn't and you can see relative to the B-17 that you're in it moves very slowly. Um, and it really doesn't provide much of a challenge at all. So let's go to the ball turret now by pressing the number 7 key at the top of the keyboard. And again we have to wait for the B17 target plane to move into sight. So I'm going to press the M key to go into manual mode. And just move around and look for the uh, target B17. There we go. So when you are fighting, firing at fighters, I should say, you have to lead your bullets ahead of where they're flying so that they fly into your stream of bullets. And you have to, you have to lead your crosshairs in front of the target. And you have to try and gauge it such that um, their, the, their, their range and their speed um, is such that you will get those bullets actually hitting that target. And it, the only way you can really get uh, good at that is through practice and experience from actually going on the missions themselves. Unfortunately doing this training mission does just, it just doesn't cut it. It really does not. So that's the ball turret. Um, we'll now go to the waist gunner. Now it's said to do the left waist gunner first but I think yeah it only puts somebody in the right waist gunner's position first so you have to press 9 at the top of the keyboard first. That goes to the compartment view <laughs> I was going to say you'll see that both are empty. Um, that's not, I, tr I did this training mission earlier today and one of these um, 
waste gunner stations was actually empty and only the right one was occupied so we'll do eight we'll press eight and do a for the action view and hopefully the dummy b17 will be over here we'll press m to go to manual mode and so now we need, we need to look at it over here if we believe the information at the beginning <laughs> pretty sure that the information at the beginning was wrong now so let's have a quick look at the right way scanner by pressing the number 9 on the keyboard and pressing M and having a look around. So where is our target B17? This is another thing I found with this because, ah, there we go. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to fire, oh, I fired way far too ahead of it there. So again, you've just got to try and kind of keep your crosshairs in a position that you're anticipating where the object or the fighter you're firing at is going to move into at the point where the bullets have traveled far enough uh, such that they would be in the same location as the fighter. So okay, so that's the um, right waist gunner completed. So now we'll press eight to go to the left waist gunner. And we should hopefully, press M for manual mode, we should hopefully see the target B-17 move over here. You have to have a bit of patience in between each one of these. There we go. It does move fairly quickly. There you go. So it's moving down and to the right. Okay. Oh, I got a lot of good hits on it there. So I've run out of ammunition again for that station. So it doesn't even let you carry on practicing from one station because you run out of uh, ammunition there very quickly. So the only one left is now the tail gunner. So I'm going to press zero to go to the tail gunner. M for manual mode. Look out the side, and there we go. We can see the target B-17 coming towards us. We must be firing paintballs, I think, because that's certainly what seems to be happening here. <laughs> that's the ammunition expired already. It really doesn't give you much practice at all. So my recommendation from this is don't bother with this training mission, or maybe try it once or twice, but actually just fly some of the historical missions and skip ahead until you get some fighters that have been engaged and then just spend some time practicing firing at those fighters. Anyway, this mission doesn't actually end. Uh, it doesn't actually go back to the debriefing room or the briefing room and give you a debriefing. Uh, so I'm just going to stop the video there. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope uh, my comments have been useful. If you have any comments, please uh, let me know in the comments section below. Uh, if you like the video, click on the thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I've got lots more videos coming up. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Take care. Have a good day and bye-bye.